Welcome and thank you very much everyone watching this video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to import data from Excel sheets into uh, Stata software. As you know Stata software is a statistical software that we use to analyze our, uh, data in the course of conducting a research project. Uh, so in this um, video uh, we will have uh, a sample Excel data and uh, then try to uh, import it into uh, Stata software. And uh, to start with uh, we have to first open the uh, starter interface. Look here, I have in the taskbar the starter software. Uh, so let me open, let me click on it and it will open. It's opening, let us be patient with it. This opening, oh, it opened. Uh, then look, this is the interface of a starter uh, soft software and uh, there are four windows okay this is the variable window the middle white one is a result window and uh, here in the uh, top right there is um, a review window and uh, in the bottom there is uh, a command window this is the interface now we want to open uh, data okay we want to open data from excel in uh, starter and technically this is called uh, importing data okay importing data from uh, excel sheet into uh, data software so to do so we click on file and then we go to import then uh, those options come and uh, we select um, uh, excel sheet let us click on it and then this uh, ex import excel dialog box comes and here um, we pause the, the excel uh, file okay and uh, here on the desktop i save the data on the desktop so sample data i name it uh, it uh, sample data so it come here when i click on sample data then uh, file on the file name the, uh, fi the the name comes okay so uh, let me click on open now uh starter ask us whether to import the first row as a variable names or import all data as a string the first row is as you see here the first row uh, is uh, gender okay marital status capital income therefore you know it is asking us whether uh, this row is to be imported as um, a variable or uh, as as data okay as a string data and our intention is to import it as a uh, variable name now look it move it to the uh, variable position okay and then we click on ok look now the data is already imported now here is the comment this um, uh, review window of the starter interface uh, keeps the rec keeps the record track of um, all the command that we give to uh, start and now the command that we give is import now it uh, uh, recorded okay, the, this command okay, it import excel data then look here in the variable uh, window the variable names okay the variable names are um, uh, uh, drop it here then uh, we can see in the data editor okay how the data appears the data editor let us click on the data editor here and uh, look here okay the gender is uh, you know in terms of n numeric okay in terms of numeric two uh, one and you know two one because uh, we have uh, two responses in gender either male or female there are two numbers uh, two one then uh, here marital status of uh, the respondent is uh the responses can be um, single uh, respondents and married respondents divorced respondents or widowed respondents then the capital this data was collected from the small enterprises small enterprises in, in a given city and um, initial capital initial capital uh, data is uh, under the capital uh, column and uh, in the under the capital variable and uh, the income okay the uh, income uh, variable is uh, here and it is in terms of uh, uh, you know monitor in terms of money okay 
Uh, so now what is uh, a question here is why is that the starter why is that the starter put these uh, responses okay that's responses of uh, the uh, marital uh, status variable in red color why and the answer is that the starter doesn't recognize uh, string responses okay string variable now it it, it recognizes the marital va variable as a uh, as a as a string variable string variable means you know this single um, this response single is understood by statutory is statutory memory as um, uh, just written uh, written letters okay single uh, written letters and not numbers okay and if it is not a number later when we uh, try to analyze the data in regression or in in tests in statistical tests then it won't recognize uh, string variables to be um, to, to be analyzed so what we need um, in the course of um, importing data from excel into starter is that we have to make sure that uh, this uh, red color uh, responses uh, are changed into blue color into blue color in a sense then starter memory uh, accepted them as um, uh, as numeric values okay as numeric values now it recognizes as a string and it cannot process a string while we are running regression or statistical tests but to to make it recognized to tell the stata memory that this number is uh, these um, uh, responses are in numeric terms it, you know we have to work further okay we have to work further and again under the gender variable here um, two and one uh, are there and the two and the one are there but which which number okay is it two or one that represent is male is it two or one that represent is female is it, not uh, uh, is not assigned okay is not assigned therefore we have to also define value for this uh, gender variable okay and uh, let us proceed how to uh, do that let us go to the command variable and you know the the process okay the process of changing uh, a string variable into a string variable into numeric variable is called encoding okay so we encode here encode okay encode which variable marital variable okay marital variable but mind you when you are writing a command in the command window of uh, starter this uh, the first letter should always be uh, small okay should always be small and uh, then the next it doesn't matter it can be uh, it can start with capital letter therefore we, we said in code and then which variable the uh, marital variable we uh, click it uh, two times on it and then it drop down or it, it drop it down to the command window or we can exactly write it without uh, distorting the spelling um, in, in the original variable okay now we drop it down so uh, the next is we give comma and a space and then we generate we write generate so that the so that the data will um, name the variable marital in a in a in new uh in new name variable name okay let us write marital itself and then say uh, and the underscore and uh, what n okay let us say n and this is in how to encode okay this is how to encode the uh, variable okay the variable a string variable so that it will it will be a numeric variable okay so we hit the uh, enter pattern on our keyboard look here the um, the command is accepted okay if the command is start out if the starter refuses to accept the command then it makes red but now it is normal here then it means that it uh, has accepted our uh, response our command i mean and uh, we can check here again again how to uh, how it has recognized it okay look here it created a new variable uh, which uh, its response is colored um, its responses are, co are, are colored blue okay blue and uh, it means that the starter memory has accepted the uh, numeric values of this uh, of these variables okay of these responses of these responses are 
just response is uh, now um, recognized by state uh, starter in their numeric values in the numeric values and uh, now uh, what represent which number represent is single we can check we can check because we have uh, responses single response married response and another response uh, let us go through and check mm, divorced divorced response so single married and uh, divorced okay three responses we have uh, because we have three responses you know uh, we can check it here uh, one let us write one here okay one in the first row let us write um, one and uh, one represent is divorced so let us um, know that starter give a one to uh, the divorced let us write two and the two is given to married and uh, let us write three single okay therefore one represents divorced, two represents married, and three uh, represents uh, single. Okay, this is uh, the value defined for um, the value defined for the responses of this uh, uh, variable, and the variable is turned from uh, string into numeric variable. Okay, uh, and it is it is uh, responses are now uh, numeric, and the starter uh, now uh, recognizes that. Uh, uh, the variable is uh, a numeric variable and a numer when we are about to run a regression or a statistic a parametric testes or, or non-parametric testes for that matter it, then it will recognize this variable as a numeric variable and it, it, it won't refuse uh, to run um, models or uh, uh, testes um, another point here that I want to raise is that uh, here as I have told you uh, is it two or one that represent this male? Is it um, a two or one that represent this female? We don't know. So we, what we have to do is that let us uh, define this um, uh, values. So to define, um, let us uh, write level. Define which variable? Gender vari variable. Then one is male let us say and the two is female one represent is male and two represent is female and then let us say okay okay now we can change we can check from um uh, the it, it is still uh, it is yet to be turned into blue to make it blue let us uh, go one step forward level valley and then bring this down once and twice okay then let us say okay oh we we made mistake here you know valley okay when we are writing valley we uh, mistaken the spelling okay you have to be careful because a uh, uh, starter is uh, command based and it is um, uh, very sensitive that, uh, mind you that we can do what we are doing by using the menu okay we by using the menu but um, it is um, tedious so let us continue now look it is um, values are uh, labeled so now look here it turn it into blue Okay, it turned it into blue. Therefore, now Stata knows that uh, this variable is uh, numeric, and uh, it is responses. Uh, it is it means that its responses are named in number, and uh, uh, even though it is uh, written in female, male uh, in letters, then Stata memory knows that uh, uh, the uh, responses are in, in, in number.